assalamu alaikum students i hope you will be enjoying the good health in our last lesson we were discussing about the prepositions and we have done prepositions from 1 to 5 i hope you have practiced them and uh, now you know that with certain verb we use which preposition from 1 to 5 today we will discuss our next five prepositions from 6 to 10 but first let's once again see uh, what are prepositions so preposition is a word which connects the noun or pronoun with other words preposition wo lafz hai jo noun ko ya pronoun ko dusre ilfaz ke sath jodta hai प्रपोजिशन ऑल्सो टेल दस अबाउट प्लेस टाइम और डायरेक्शन प्रपोजिशन हमें जगह वक्त और सिमत के बारे में भी बताता है इन अवर लास्ट लेसन आई टोल्ड यू वन टर्म दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्रेजल वर्ब वी आर नॉट जस्ट स्टडिंग द सिंगल प्रपोजिशन वी आर बेसिकली डीलिंग विद द फ्रेजल वर्ब सो नाउ लेट्स अगेन सी वट इज फ्रेजल वर्ब अ वर्ब विद एन अदर एलिमेंट Typically, a preposition is called a phrasal verb. वो verb जिसके साथ कोई और element भी हो uh, Typically, uh, preposition हो वो verb जिसके साथ preposition हो that is called phrasal verb. And we also uh, saw some examples of phrasal verb in our last lesson, like found of. Found is your verb and of is preposition. Combinedly, they are called फ्रेजल वर्ब अशेम्ड ऑफ सो अशेम्ड इज योर वर्ब एंड ऑफ इज योर प्रपोजिशन दिस इज योर फ्रेजल वर्ब एबसेंट फ्राम सो हेयर यू कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट एबसेंट इज वर्ब एंड फ्राम इज प्रपोजिशन सो कम्बाइनली दिस इज योर फ्रेजल वर्ब नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अवर नेक्स्ट फाइव प्रपोजिशन सो अवर प्रपोजिशन नंबर सिक्स इज ऑन योर बुक इट विल बी नंबर सिक्स angry at so first let's see what is the meaning of angry at angry at means displeasure gussa narazgi and uh, keep this thing in your mind angry at is used with the thing ye kisi cheez ke liye istemal hota hai for example she was angry at my behavior so behavior is the kind of thing he is angry at your way of speaking so here the speaking is a kind of thing angry at is uh, used for thing and it means displeasure narazgi so how you are supposed to learn it you have to keep in your mind with angry we use at and angry at it refers towards a thing so now let's move to our next Uh, phrasal verb this is angry with angry at and angry with both have a same meaning displeasure narazgi gussa but angry at is used for a thing like she is angry at my behavior but here you can see that angry with is used for a person एंग्री विद जो है ये किसी पर्सन के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है जबकि एंग्री एट जो है वो किसी चीज के लिए इस्तेमाल होता है नाउ लेट सी अवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दे वर एंग्री विद मी सो एंग्री विद एन एंग्री एट दे हैव अ सेम मीनिंग मीनिंग इज डिस्प्लेयर बट एंग्री एट इज यूज फॉर अ थिंग एंड एंग्री विद दैट इज यूज फॉर अ पर्सन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज दे वर एंग्री विद मी अवर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज she is angry with her daughter so again you can see that angry with is using for a person so angry at and angry with both have a same meaning but angry at is used for a thing kisi cheez ke liye istemal hota hai and angry with it is used for a person so in this way you have to keep uh, this phrasal verb in your mind angry at it is for a thing and angry with this is used for a person our next phrasal verb is appear before uh, the meaning of this one is 
टू शो अप इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सम वन यानी किसी के सामने पेश होना अपीयर बिफोर फॉर एग्जाम्पल अवर सेंटेंस नंबर वन इज ही विल अपीयर बिफोर द जज एंड अवर सेंटेंस नंबर टू इज आई एम सो नर्विस टू अपीयर बिफोर द जज टूडे सो अपीयर बिफोर मीन्स टू शो अप इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ सम वन किसी के सामने पेश होना एंड हाउ यू आर सपोज टू लर्न इट यू यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट विद अपीयर वी यूज बिफोर इट मीन्स किसी के सामने पेश होना आवर नेक्स्ट फ्रेजल वर्ब इज अराइव एट इट मीन्स टू कम एट अ सर्टन प्लेस किसी खास जगह पर पहुँचना और यू कैन सिंपली सेट दैट पहुँचना अराइव एट विद अराइव वी डू नाट यूज विद वी डू नाट यूज फ्राम विद अराइव विद अराइव वी यूज एट अराइव एट मीन्स पहुँचना सो आवर फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज द ट्रेन अराइव एट लाहौर स्टेशन इन टाइम इट मीन्स द ट्रेन रीच एट द लाहौर स्टेशन इन टाइम Our next sentence is we arrived at the station but it was closed or you can say that we arrived at the museum but it was closed so with arrive we use at it means pahunchna our last phrasal verb for today is ashamed of ashamed of means embarrassed sharmindagi mehsoos karna sharam mehsoos karna For example, you should be ashamed of your behavior. And our next sentence is: He was deeply ashamed of his bad behavior. So, with with ashamed, we use of. This was our today's lesson of uh, prepositions. As I told you, we are not only learning the prepositions; we are basically learning phrasal verb. So, keep the idea of phrasal verb in your mind. phrasal verb is basically a verb with a preposition so you have to keep in your mind with which uh, verb kaun sa verb ke sath aap kaun si preposition istemal karenge you have to keep this thing in your mind now uh, once more class let's see how the question would come from this portion in papers in my previous video i also told you uh, let me explain it again so they will give you a sentence like this i agree dash you in this matter so agree is your verb now you have to find that with agree we use uh, which preposition so they will give you four options like i agree in you in this matter i agree of you in this matter i agree with you in this matter yeah or i agree from you in this matter so you you will have to find out the right answer so what do you think what is the right answer we did this yesterday so the right answer is i agree with you in this matter yes so that was our lesson of prepositions for today inshallah i will see you in next video assalamu alaikum